Uh, this week, I want to highlight something that wastes taxpayers' money and literally wastes space, and this is warehouse space. Now, the Department of Homeland Security owns or leases a number of warehouses around the country, and they need this because they need to have the kind of equipment in place uh, necessary to address a disaster, whether it's a natural, man-made disaster or whether it's a terrorist attack. For whatever reason, uh, they need a number of these warehouses, and they either buy these to store this equipment for use in emergency situations, or they lease these. In fact, in 2013, the Department of Homeland Security spent $60 million to own or lease a total of 1,628 warehouses that added together occupy 6.3 million square feet. That's a lot of leasing space. That's a lot of owned space to lease uh, equipment in. It's the size of 110 football fields. No one is contesting the need to be prepared for disasters or the need for warehouse space in different locations around the country. But as the case in so many, maybe all of the government agencies in the use of taxpayer dollars, we need to ensure, we need to oversee and make sure that the money is being spent in an efficient and effective way. So a recent report by the Department of Homeland Security Inspector General, and thank goodness for these Inspector Generals, Without them, we would not even be able to determine and find out uh, what's going on in these various agencies regarding the handling of taxpayer money. But the latest report from the DHS uh, Inspector General said that uh, there are some warehouses that are ripe for elimination, which would save taxpayers about $9.7 million over a 10-year period of time, according to the DH DHS Department of Homeland Security Inspector General. The first of these buildings, the Inspector General said, uh, holds primarily a bunch of uh, broken chairs and um, uh, unused uh, facilities, uh, uh, storage space for paperwork that is no longer necessary, and uh, indicated that um, this warehouse in Northern Virginia, a DHS leases for $934,000 a year. I wish I owned that, air, that uh, warehouse. Be prohibited under the ethics code from doing that, but uh, that's a pretty good deal. Uh, you, you build a warehouse, you lease it out to DHS, you charge them $934,000 a year, and it's filled with equipment that is either broken or needs to be thrown out. Um, in a macro sense, it kind of reminds me of my garage. I started thinking about, well, yeah, there's a bunch of broken stuff in there sitting around on the shelf. Why don't I just get rid of it? I would, then I'd have the space uh, to store something that's needed. So I guess what the inspector general is saying, look, this stuff is, looks like a bunch of broken chairs and, and stuff we don't need. So why don't we just get rid of it and save the taxpayers some money? Uh, the uh, uh, over the next decade, and this, as I said, could save the taxpayer a lot of money. I'll just, let me show you another picture here. Uh, DHS also leases a 6,500 foot square foot warehouse in Northern California. That's only $74,000 of taxpayers' money on an annual basis. But uh, the warehouse is virtually empty. So uh, maybe they've got a plan to put something in there, but it's sitting there empty and it's costing the taxpayer $74,000. Just a couple of things. The IG said, well, there's some old computers here, which we don't use anymore. They, we bought new ones. Uh, there's a lot of broken equipment, he said, in there. There's old office furniture, and there's some books. Again, it sounds a little bit like my garage on a macro basis here. Uh, why do we keep paying over $70,000 for leasing this warehouse when that's what it contains, I mean, let's throw it out. Now, this is just a few of the items that the uh, IG has found. Clearly, though, uh, it's an example of the ineff inefficient way of using taxpayer dollars, a wasteful way of using taxpayer dollars, and it can uh, add up to some significant numbers. And those numbers, as I have been posting here over the last uh, last year or so, are now totaling $130 billion 
$146,763.16, or something to that effect. Anyway, it's a waste. It's a waste of a lot of money. And it's a waste that doesn't, of fraud and abuse that needn't take place. And so I'm going to keep coming down here week after week, highlighting to my colleagues that we can do a better job of oversight. We can do a better job of running this government. And we can do a better job for the taxpayer, which is working hard to send money here uh, uh, that is taxed by Uncle Sam and wasted or is spent through fraud or abuse. And with that, Mr. Uh, President, it appears that uh, there is lack of a quorum, and so I suggest the absence of that quorum. The clerk should call the roll. Mr. Alexander. 